Happy Sunday, you lovely lot. It is Sunday, the 7th of January, and you are joining my wife, Tracy, and me. <laughs> what did you laugh? My wife. My wife. Um, on our first trip without the kids, and uh, how are you feeling about it? It's strange. The, the, the rhythm is different, and the energy is different, but it's actually really relaxing, and so far, really, really nice just to have a bit of just time for the two of us. It is relaxing, right? Yeah. I feel like... Yeah. Yeah, very chilled. Yeah. I, mean, I think because obviously your kids are always your kids, whether they're growing up or not. So you're always like, you're thinking about yourself, you're thinking what they're doing, what they need to do, are they okay, are they happy? You're trying to sort of make sure everyone's happy with what's going on in the holiday. Not that it's a big deal, but that's, that's always what you're kind of juggling. So to not have that element is actually just odd, but it just makes it just a little bit sort of quiet. And, th and this is day two, this, <laughs> this is, is day two of our holiday. How do you feel day two? Yeah, really relaxed. Yeah, me too. Really chilled. Yeah. I mean, we always feel chilled in Disney. Yeah. It's kind of our happy place. It's our go-to place to recharge and reset and just get away from life, really. So that always has that effect on us. But I think more so just because it's the two of us at the moment. Yeah. It feels really relaxing. Yeah. yeah. I'm really enjoying it. Yeah, I'm loving it. Those kids stress me out. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we, still, we still would rather be with them, but it's, it's nice to enjoy a different way of doing Disney. It is, and we've spoken to the kids, we're sending them messages, we're rubbing it in, doing all that good stuff. Um, so this trip is a 14 night trip. We are doing seven nights at Port Orleans Riverside and absolutely really, really loving it. <coughs> and then we're popping to see some friends in Tampa for a couple of days, and then we're back to all star music. If you're new to the channel, please remember to like and subscribe. Apparently all that sort of stuff does help. And yeah, we're having a really, really lovely time. Um, at the moment, it's run Disney, and the people that, no, that's not true. Some of the people that are staying here, when they're getting up at half past three in the morning to go and run Disney, don't care about other people. They're just like, it, I need- conversation at normal talking, well, talking loudly, yeah. right outside our room at three in the morning. Who does that? Like, who does that? Anyway, peed it down with the rain. I mean, properly peed it down, so whoever did that out the door, Enjoy your karma, but yeah, I nearly, I nearly went out. And also, Run Disney was just like, I don't know what park it started at, but the PA system at like quarter to four in the morning was, it was like they were trying to wake all of Orlando up. It was just like. But it's weird because we've been here when Run Disney's been on before, and we were staying at Old Key West and Saratoga, which are not too far from here, and we didn't hear any of it. So whether we're just facing a different way or the winds in a different direction or the PA system is firing in a different direction, I don't know. I mean, it was a couple of nights, it's not a big deal, but it was just really strange to be able to hear it. Yeah, it was, a night. Massive, <laughs> it was a massive deal. Um, anyway, so to all you runners that went out there, got soaked, did your half marathon, look, in your face, because this morning I went out for a run, good job Kivo, 1.7 miles around down to French Quarter and back, and uh, didn't get wet, didn't wake anyone up, you know, <laughs> so I've done my... Uh, my exercise for the morning, I might go a little bit further tomorrow. Um, so the plan for today, we are heading over to Celebration, which is um, like the Truman Show apparently. It's like the town that did, did Disney design it? I'm guessing they did. It was owned by Disney, so it must have been designed by Disney. Yeah, Disney. we've never been. I don't know, we'll, be sure. we'll do a bit more investigation on the history when we're there. Yeah, so we're gonna get an Uber across now. The time is half past nine. This is mad, we're getting so much done. Um, we've got coffee, we bought the resort mug, and um, if you've never, if you sound resort, you can buy a mug, and um, no, a special mug, and then you can fill it, it, it gives you like unlimited refills. It was j about $22 um, for your stay, and we can take that with us to All Stars as well. Um, so yeah, we're gonna get an Uber to celebration, and then later on today we are off to, Mag is it Magic Kingdom? Yes. We got any dinner booked? Nothing, no. We're keeping it loose. We've got a tentative booking for the tavern in Celebration, which is the place that people are recommending to eat. Um, so we thought we'd probably have a bigger meal there. And I've not booked anything for, for Magic Kingdom, so I think we'll just go with the flow. Yeah. Maybe get some snacks or something in the evening if there, if we're hungry or a quick serve. Nice. Or come back here or go to Disney Springs. We're just keeping it fairly loose. See yeah. What, see what we feel doing. Yep. We have never hired a car on holiday, and since the. Uh, the revolution to us, which is Uber and Lyft and those sort of rideshare services, we probably won't because although we've Ubered the last couple of days, um, I think after today, that's kind of it for the Ubering. Might do a bit, might go and do a bit of shopping at the outlets. So um, we're not hiring a car, Uber works great. Um, and I think 
if we were to hire a car, I think it's probably cheaper for us to, to just use Uber because we just use it as and when we need it. Right, let's get out. That's our view out of our room. It's lovely. And we're on, Mag is it Magnolia Bend? Yes. I like it on Magnolia Bend. Magnolia Bend's the place to be. It's very nice. <laughs> Here's a good look at the pool. This resort's really, really relaxing. Well, it is at the moment. <laughs> uh, pool looks, you know, fab. And what I noticed this morning, there's a pool bar over there as well. And I think they've got like some either ping pong uh, or table football as well. And this is like the main area. That's the quick serve. That's the on-site restaurant boat rights reaching there on Monday, tomorrow. And that's the lobby. And this is where you get the ferry. And the ferry will take you to Disney Springs and French Quarter. The French Quarter is about a 10 minute walk from here, which is like the, the resort that it's partnered with. We went there yesterday, it's lovely. I'm getting so many comments on the beignets. If we don't, we beignets <laughs> are a priority. I know, I think one morning we'll walk to um, yeah. French Quarter <laughs> yeah. and get some. Just booking out Uber in the lobby. You need Wi-Fi for this. Um, so to get us to celebration is just over $16. Right, Uber dropped us off, took about 20 minutes. <laughs> First impressions, it doesn't feel real, does it? No, it's definitely um, very um, Stepford or Wisteria Lane. <laughs> yeah, I like it, right. Uh, he couldn't take us um, straight into the uh, centre because the roads are closed, so there is a farmer's market on today. So yeah, it's just started to rain. <laughs> this is, uh, feels like we're in Hollywood Studios. <laughs> really really lovely lovely lake over there hopefully we'll have a wander over there that's very sort of saratoga springy as well all right so it's basically like the boardwalk and hollywood studios <laughs> farmers market oh this is right up my street so lots of sort of like bespoke jewelry arts and crafts fresh mango juice yeah it's lovely. Chopping boards, barbecue sauce. Yeah, it's definitely, definitely a full on operation here with the farmer's market. What a place. We're just trying some free samples. Oh, wow. What's it like? <laughs> Is it? Oh. That's really good. Alright, we've got some spicy ones as well. One called the Reaper. How hot is it? I would say it's pretty hot. Is it? It depends on the person. I like it better than that. dairy in it, so it's only you know, so hot it can be. Okay. It's really lovely. And it's pretty hot. It's <laughs> too hot for you. I think. <laughs> Let you try it first. Oh, that's really lovely though. Right, so all the dips are like dry, so you can bring them home. I'm going to bring some of that back for Luke. Yeah. And then you just mix it with like mayonnaise or sour cream. Pretty lovely. I like the way that you can taste them as well with like the yeah. little pretzel sticks. Right, we've got one left. We're going in for lobster. <laughs> Feed me. <laughs> They're all awesome. Yeah, really, really lovely. What do you think? So far, so it's brilliant, isn't it? How beautiful are they? Oh, look at these trays. They're so lovely. All right, we've got some coffees. Tracy's going for early morning cheesecake. <laughs> Got a jerky stall here. Luke would be all over that. You just smell the. I love it when you just. Smell the fruit. Though. Yeah, it smells amazing. First impressions on the celebration. It's really lovely. <laughs> it's amazing, it's really right? Lovely. It's very different to Winter Garden. Yeah, the style of the of the buildings and the colour palette here and just everything is very different. So. Yeah. Lovely. Yeah, <laughs> loving it. Um, we've had a look around the farmer's market, definitely going to get some of those dips. And I think now 
we can have a cheeky wander around the lake. Is there an alligator in this lake? There's like a famous one, isn't there? Is this, Everyone what's... keeps mentioning someone called Cool. I think this is a play on like celebration cool in the game, so this might be an alligator called Cool. Oh. Okay. Have to ask somebody. Well, it looks like people swim in there. There's like handles and. To... Mm -hmm. Bleh. To get on and off the boat, yeah, good shout. So, if you want to do a bike ride, there's like a seven mile trail around here. We're just going to walk around the lake, but you can hire these bikes. And if you've got some little ones, little trailers, you fancy going in a trailer? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's sort of very Grand Floridian sort of boardwalk. Tracy thinks she's just seen a beaver or an otter. I saw something scamper across the path. It's making me feel uneasy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is, uh, I don't know. What wild animals? Tells you what's, what wild animals you're likely to see here. Okay. Oh, armadillos. <laughs> <laughs> Crunchy on the outside, soft in the middle. A possum. That wasn't Grey fox. <laughs> oh, turkeys. Oh, all my <laughs> arch enemies. Wild hogs. Oh, oh trays. Raccoons. raccoons. <laughs> you like raccoons, don't you? Yeah, Luke, Luke and I <laughs> You and Luke have got like this <laughs> raccoon. We've got this weird little thing where we, we send each other like Instagram <laughs> reels and pictures of raccoons. Oh wow, look at these dogs. Oh, they're so cool. Yeah, yeah so Tracy and Luke have got this this uh, raccoon thing where they just WhatsApp each other cute. Raccoon pictures and reels and, and yeah, we just love raccoons. <laughs> what did you get for Christmas from Luke? I got raccoon earrings. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, living in the future in Winter Garden. Not Winter Garden, celebration, look. No bike riding, hoverboarding. That's like from Back to the Future. Back to the, future. <laughs> the Mattel hoverboard. Ah, <laughs> oh, you gotta allow hoverboarding. I just wanna see it. <laughs> it has got a Main Street. Very Disney Main Street vibe. Yeah, it's really, really lovely, but you do feel like you're on a bit of a set. But, loving it. Very pretty one. Yeah. It's very different. One. It's very different to Winter Garden. Yes, very different. I definitely prefer Winter Garden. I think we were talking about this just now, but I think Winter Garden's got, got a bit more of a, a vibe to it, more of a, yeah. a hippie, hipster energy yeah. that we quite like. But this is lovely. This is lovely. It's very, very quiet. That might be the weather, and it might be some Sunday morning, but yeah. very quiet. We got, we got like a lunch reservation for two o'clock. I think we're going to drastically <laughs> accelerate that. Early, yeah, yeah. We're in the Celebration Tavern. I love it in here already. It is super cool, super authentic, massive menu, lovely servers, smells amazing. And we did have a res reservation here for about half two, it's quarter past 11. We, we're uh, ahead of schedule. And the menu, I'm not sure if it's gonna pick up, is ginormous, double-sided. There's a brunch menu as well, but yeah. Um, said on the menu, it's like three generations of family are working here. It's right on the front of the sort of town square bit. Loving it. I think I'm going to go for a lobster roll. Right, we've ordered exactly the same. We can so. share this. <laughs> so lobster rolls, fries and coleslaw. Looks great. Service in here is lovely. Just had to go on the lobster roll. It's fantastic. Really lovely. Fries are lovely. Coleslaw is lovely. I'm not going to have to tap on the lobster roll without getting it in my hair and all over my face, so I'm contemplating it. <laughs> I think it's full send, full commitment. How was your meal? It was really nice actually. Good, wasn't it? Yeah, the lobster roll was, um, I was surprised it was a drier mix than I was expecting. It's a bit more sort of creamy, sort of marigolds or mayonnaise type thing binding it together. But actually the flavours were so nice it didn't need it. Um, the only thing is structural integrity, it might have helped it stick together a bit more because <laughs> it was quite difficult to eat and I managed to chuck mine half across the table. Um, but it's really tasty. It feels really authentic in here because yeah. we, we're mainly sort of used to eating on Disney property and in chains, but this yeah. is like family owned and yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. yeah it's got a really good vibe. Yeah, it's yeah. a really cool sort of like decor and style in here. Yeah, really, really like it. And our feel, there you go. As if by magic. <laughs> <Back> <laughs> I have bored on about this in the past, but like the introduction of Uber has really opened up 
like the possibilities because be us, we didn't want to drive over here yeah because before it was just like Mia's cabs which are easy enough to get from the reception here but if you want to get like when you're out and about it's not as easy oh the other thing you do have to bear in mind is when you're ordering an uber out here you need wi-fi so you have to sort of be kind of close to like the restaurant where we were yeah we'd order but well, luckily we ordered it from there and it's great yeah you, you have to make sure you're within a wi-fi area so. yeah and those trips worked out about 15 dollars each way from port orleans to celebration which i think is pretty good so we've had a little bit of a freshen up and we're heading off to magic kingdom what time is it? It's one o'clock. What is going on? Our kids are just time sponges. We, we, we're rattling through this holiday. Feels like we've been here for ages in a good way, right? In a bit. Definitely liking these bus stops. They're very cool. Um, if you've never stayed on a Disney resort before, they've got a screen up. It tells you when the next bus is. And also you can check on the app, but we don't really do that very often, do we? It's not in the habit of doing it. We should be. Should do, really. We should sort of our time better. We don't need to manage our time anymore. We have now got the gift of time as like... We're not waiting for people to be ready. Yeah, yeah, it's amazing. Uh, so yeah, it's just coming, it's just gone five past. Uh, so seven minutes till the Magic Kingdom. Our bus is early. It's half past one on a Sunday afternoon. Made it through security, no dramas. No, it's all good. It feels chilled. Like it feels like kind of quiet <laughs> and it's just like ah so um i think the plan is to do stuff that we don't normally do so i think there's going to be some throwbacks not been on carousel of progress in a long time not been on um hall of presidents in like the longest time so uh, it's, been, it's been at least two presidents <laughs> been a new president since we've been on that yeah so we're just going to play it by ear all good. Thanks, man. Have a good day. Hey, trains come in too. How nice does that look with the Christmas decorations? They're still pushing it with these Christmas decorations. They do look fantastic. First impressions, obviously very Christmassy, but nice and doesn't seem yeah really civilized. So uh, yeah feeling it so the Christmas tree still up and yeah it, it does look absolutely fantastic but there's something that I'm really not a fan of I mean like seriously I don't know I don't think I've ever been this close up you got like all the popcorn around the bottom looks amazing Today, my name is. You could be a Charles. Could I be a Charles? Oh, no. <laughs> sorry. I could be a. Could I? I, I it's quite believable. Yeah. I don't, also. Using names that are quite believable. But that came from nowhere as well. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't think. Just, that was just like. On the spot. I just felt Charles. I didn't like. Obviously, hello, Charles. <laughs> and the show's just started. I am loving this. All the feels. All the feels. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Tracy's going to wave at Dumbo, see what he does. You look crazy. Do it again. Wave harder. He's, he's not doing anything. Oh. There we go. How was that show? Do you know, there's something about that show that just makes me want to cry at the end. It's just so uplifting. Not going to lie, all those dads holding their little girls at a moment. Yeah. <laughs> They're just like, oh. oh. Back in the day. Right, heading into Tomorrowland. I think Tracy is 
potentially going to drive in Tomorrowland Speedway. This is if, if if this goes down, it's going to be very funny. Right, before we do that, Carousel of Progress. Not done this in forever. No, it's been a while. <laughs> <laughs> what? It's closed. Carousel of Progress is down. Heartbreaking. It's going down. You're gonna give it a go. Well, you can't just give it a go because we can't change halfway through. Do or do not, there is no try. I, know. I did it years ago and I found it quite frustrating because I couldn't do it. But I'm gonna give it a go. You're gonna do it. And it will just, it could be a mess, it could be chaos, or it could be all right. We're just gonna have to take the chance. And we're off. Just focus on the car in front, we'll be fine. There we go. Full beans, put your foot right down. That's it. <laughs> the thing is, even if you hit everyone, we, we're still making progress. Look, you're nailing it. <laughs> it's in your blood. Just, just focus on the green car. <laughs> Look, you're gaining on the car in front. You're doing great. <laughs> so you did it. Talk me through it. How are you feeling? I don't think I want to do it again. <laughs> but you did it. <laughs> but I did it. <laughs> you have noticed that before? Yeah. What this? Yeah. I love it. It's coming up for three o'clock. And we're heading into Filler Magic. Now it's a busy day when Filler Magic. <laughs> it's like this. You've not done that in a while. Years. Still stacks up. It's brilliant. Yeah, the, brilliant. the film, like the quality of the picture is great. Yeah, they've improved that, I think, in the last few years. And they, it's a new segment for Coco, which is probably a bit more up to date. So, yeah, it was really enjoyable. Yeah, and although when we went in, it did look like it was super busy, which it was, but there was still plenty of space in the theatre as well. So, um, and we didn't yeah. have to wait that long, literally, we stood there for like two minutes and then the doors opened. Yeah, love it. Five minute wait for It's a Small World. Welcome to It's a Small World. For your That is an iconic ride, and you probably should do it. However, it's very, it's very busy vibe. It's a lot going on. A lot of it just doesn't make any sense. It's, <laughs> but it's very detailed, very colourful, but just doesn't make a lot of sense. It's really weird. It's so weird, and it, it's just it's not yeah. For <laughs> it's, it's not for everybody. So this is the line for Haunted Mansion. 55 minute wait, going all the way back over there. Hall of Presidents, going in. I can't even remember the last time I've been in. I've only been in here once, once. And what did Daisy do, just as it went quiet? This is rubbish. This is rubbish. Right, we're good. Yeah, hold the attention of a six year old. No, right. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, the anim animatronics were awesome. Yeah, it was great. Yeah. I yeah, really enjoyed that. Yeah, so it's basically, you know, American political history with animatronics. It was, it was really interesting, yeah. Luke and Daisy wouldn't have liked it. Yeah, I think maybe we're of a certain age where we appreciate it, I don't know. <laughs> but it was really cool. Right, we needed a bit of a snack. So we're sharing some cheeseburger egg rolls, which you've had before, because they're yummy, aren't they? Yeah, they're really nice. <laughs> yeah, they're really good. <laughs> yeah. 
We've tried the pepperoni ones. They're all right. We're all about the cheeseburger ones. The cheeseburger ones are where it's at. Yeah. They're so good. They basically taste like McDonald's cheeseburgers in a spring roll. Thumbs up. Heading into Adventureland. Tracy's never done this. We're heading in. Are you excited? I am actually. Let's go. Magic sunshine for the I haven't been in. I can't remember. I can't remember. Today was very difficult in the morning, I think. Yeah. I sing so beautiful, I should sing so loud. like it needs a dinner show with it. Yeah, it's quite a good concept. The music's good. Yeah. It's, just, yeah. it's weird. It's a bit strange. <laughs> yeah. But like, you know, on the fever dream side of things. But, yeah. yeah. But I quite enjoyed it. Yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a classic. Yeah, it's a classic. I remember seeing on the Imaginarium story like how they designed it and brought the concepts and ideas behind it. So it's nice to actually see it. Now. Yeah. Glad you did it. Yeah, glad I did. Right, in the spirit of doing all things old school, we're heading in. What can I do for country Just give me hoop you do review vibes. Yeah. <laughs> now, how many of you have seen the show over 443 times? <laughs> Last year. <laughs> After seeing that many shows, you start to lose your bearings a bit. <laughs> I was ready for that one. <laughs> Alrighty, folks, welcome to Grizzly Hall, to the world famous Country Bear Jamboree. Can we get a big old yeehaw? Yeehaw! Howdy, folks. Welcome to the one and only Oregon Country Bear Jamboree. It's just coming up, it's just gone half past five. I like this time of night. All the lights are coming on and it's just, yeah, park looks lovely. We're in the queue for fa Faunted, Faunted, Man Haunted Mansion. Said it was a 45 minute wait. We're 55 minutes in and there's a way to go. We're zigzagging all the way through. However, not seen this before. Ooh. 
and consider this dismaying observation. said 45 minutes that was 75 by the time we got off but really really enjoyed that I've not ridden that for a long time so had that uh, the scene with the hat box goes but they've changed it there seemed to be more in there the lighting was different and yeah loved it really really well worth the wait I think yes it was actually and it was warm in there which is also good it's a bit chilly now it's definitely a bit chilly now right it's 10 past 7 some of the parks pretty hectic and it's pretty chilly. I feel like we've had a pretty good run in here today. So I think we're gonna head back to resort. What do you reckon? Yeah, it's been busy, but we've got some nice bits and pieces done. Um, there's a bit of a bonus. So yeah, now it is a bit cold. Yeah, it is yeah. cold. I could do with getting warm. Main Street is looking absolutely beautiful, but pretty manic. Uh, fireworks are going up in about 45 minutes, but yeah, it's getting a little bit hectic i'm kind of hungry as well so we're going to keep the plans loose but yeah oh it just kind of feels we're in a spot now where we can breathe a bit because that was hectic i definitely need some cake or something to eat at some point but i think we'll find that back at the resort yeah, we'll get back to the quick service resort but you know it is still christmas here in main street and i I just think it's so stunning. Yeah, I'm here for it. It's lovely. Right, let's go and get a bus. This is when you you really miss the kids because there's a bus within eye shot, but you're not gonna run for it normally. Oh, it's gone. Luke, where were you when I needed you to run for a bus for me? We've got the beignets. <laughs> They're bigger than I expected. And they were just for all free, just under ten dollars. We got some caramel dipping sauce as well. They're very nice. What do you think? Yeah. Right, beignets down the range. They were they were really good. They were really good. They got better and better <laughs> as, you, as you got into them. Actually, they were so nice, so fresh, and really hot in the middle. Yeah, really I, hot. I think what everyone has been sending me lots of messages about. Got to try the beignets, and I'm like, these are going to be a bit of an anti-climax because literally, like every other message, beignets, 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 <laughs> and and I'm not like a big donut guy, but they were awesome, and I think the reason they're so awesome at um, French Quarter is because they're cooked to order and like the icing sugar on them as well they were really really good and we had as with the caramel dipping sauce which was epic so yesterday at Animal Kingdom it's pretty it was pretty not, it was kind of warm in the evening it's yeah. freezing <laughs> I mean freezing now and what have we just seen kids in pool <laughs> kids you're brilliant keep doing what you're doing being in the pool when it is freezing and they're just on the water slide splashing about what time is it must eight be o'clock eight o'clock keep doing it it's half past eight we're back in the room and in the true rock and roll style that we live our lives we're gonna have an early night that was a big day <laughs> We, we did we got a lot of old school stuff ticked off we did yeah stuff that i've not done before like tiki room Tick, that's not how he said <laughs> it was a bit, it's a bit bizarre it was a bit bizarre but it was quite charming i thought yeah you know um and country bread jamboree which yeah is closing for a bit of modernization and does sorely need it but it was it was good to do yeah it was good to do and it wasn't very long yeah. Which was one of the bonuses. <laughs> that was about the best thing. It was not very long. 
So yeah, we're gonna have an early night. Uh, tomorrow we are heading over to Epcot in the morning and then we are probably gonna do a bit of Disney Springs. And then we're back here tomorrow evening on the resort to have dinner at Boatwright. Still loving this resort. Had an absolutely cracking day today. Just feel like we got a whole bunch of stuff done. Um, please like and subscribe if, if you like what we did. And if you don't, sorry about that. Um, and yeah, thanks so much for all the comments that we're getting while we're out here. It's so nice just catching up with you. And we bumped into a lot of you lovely lot today and yesterday. So it's always lovely to see you out and about. So stay safe, be kind, look after one another. Cheers, ears.